Hey everybody, welcome back again for another edition of my Titanfall 2 speedrun tutorials. Uh, today, uh, I guess this video is going to be Trial by Fire. Uh, and so we got a lot of cover with Trial by Fire. Um, this level is uh, basically when you strip it down, it isn't, isn't an escort mission. Um, we got to get Sarah Briggs down to uh, an elevator. And to get her there, there's a lot of different variables we have to mess with and a lot of different things we have to do. Um, this level is kind of considered sometimes to be kind of random, but there are definitely ways that you can influence what Sarah's doing and get her to the elevator ASAP. Um, so let's get going. Uh, within the context of the speedrun, Trial by Fire is actually probably one of the most unique. Um, even more so than a level like, you know, Effect and Cause or something like that, where you have a crazy time switch mechanic. Uh, only because it is, is one of the... The most uh, combat focused levels and the only level in which you're in a titan for like the entire level um, So it's definitely unique in that sense um, That's why I'd say the hardest part of it is gonna be everything before the elevator and then after the elevator It's pretty straightforward that there's things still to cover there, but in any case uh, when you get started um, you're gonna switch to Ronin And what we're actually gonna do here with Ronin is uh, you're gonna come down here you can walk or sprint, whatever, but once you get about right here, just put up sword block. And I like to like just like boost here. And if you just hold sword block, sword block blocks 75% of incoming damage. Use a phase dash too to negate some damage. It blocks 75% of all incoming damage. And you can actually use it to walk through the wall right there. And it'll, it'll also get you about right here. So once you get here, um, there's going to be a bunch of titans that are about to drop like right in front of us. Hi, Nerd Squared. So once you get here, we're, we're gonna like look down this pathway to the front of us to the to the we're gonna you know turn right and look down here. And so all there's gonna be a ton of titans that spawn in uh, directly in front of us. Um, there's gonna be a Reaper, uh, two Tones, and then a few other I think some other Strider chassis. Hey, Skinzilla. And so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna want to shoot the Tones with uh, we're just gonna shoot the Tones with our uh, shotgun here, and then we're gonna immediately switch to Scorch. And then after we switch to Scorch, uh, we're going to use Flame Shield and try and build up core. And then once we build core, we're going to do a Flame Core. Um, and then basically everything from there, uh, you just kind of have to play it by ear. Most of the time we're going to like uh, go down farther to the right, way down there. Or I guess way in front of us and kill the Titans down there. Sarah's going to come back in on this side, of, or like on the side that we're standing on. Um, and uh, we're going to have to try and clear Titans in front of her too. So what happens here, uh, to, to explain this as best as possible is there are two different waves of titans and you have to kill a certain amount of titans from each wave and so you'll find sometimes you'll think that you've gotten everyone and you're waiting for sarah's audio cue um, you'll know that you've cleared the area when sarah says pilot you're with me and you're waiting for her audio cue but she's not giving it to you and you might find that you left a ronin way in the back right corner and he's just like hiding back there or something so there, there, um I'll do my best to cover everything here, but this is there's kind of a lot going on. So I'll give you kind of an example of what I'm normally looking for, and I'll try and narrate when I'm doing as I'm doing it, and then we can go into the specifics. So, oh, whoops, that's my monitor. There we go. So we're gonna shoot out the tones here. I'm gonna switch to scorch, put up flame shield. And I want core as fast as possible. There we go. So we have core, so I'm gonna use it. This is kind of a bad flame core, that's okay. There's a brood right in front of me, so I'm going to use my flame wall. And I want to kill these guys fast, so I'm going to use uh, flame trap, flame shield both of these guys. Use another flame trap on him because he's giving me trouble. The ions are important to eliminate because their laser core does a ton of damage, even on easy. There's a north star over there, and there's a brood here, so I'm going to work on that. I have flame core again, so I'm going to use it on both these guys. There we go, we killed both of them. So now the, this the titans just spawned in, so I can start working on them. There's a tone here, so I want to get him down. There's a brute and a drone in here, so if I can get a brute around this flame wall, that would be good. And that, so this was a really, really good clear. But so we already got the the audio cue pilot ear with me. But if you look in front of me, there is a Ronin and a Tone still over here. And so what will likely happen, what isn't super likely, is that Sarah is gonna caught, gonna get caught up fighting these guys. And uh, if she gets caught up fighting them, you're gonna get all the way to the elevator but she's not going to be there. So what you would ideally do in this situation is you want to save your core now, you want to use your sword core later on, But we, and we'll get to that in a bit. But what you'd want to do here is uh, come over here and actually kill these guys. So we'll put down a flame trap here and ignite it. Kill the tone. And there's still a Ronin here. Fortunately, Ronin's pretty low, or like, doesn't have a big HP pool, so we'll use a flame wall and then a flame shield. That should normally do it. So, 
it actually looks like Sarah was all the way up here. So, um, I probably didn't have to kill those guys because Sarah was already past him. And when it comes down to it, uh, if I was paying better attention, I probably could have figured out where Sarah was and I could have just skipped doing that and went on to the next section. But there's a ton of, uh, there's just a ton of stuff like this that you have to be aware of. Why is my, where are my splits so far over here? I just realized. There we go. Um, so there's kind of a lot of this going on. Um, the main, the main thing that you're going to be wanting to do here, um, uh, most of the time is you, uh, or is using Scorch. So the main Titans you should be using here for this opening section are going to be Ronin and Scorch, primarily. Um, getting a lot of damage in with Scorch is all about... Um, is all about using your abilities optimally. So, um, getting like really good flame trap placements, getting really good flame walls, managing your, uh, managing your flame core and your ammo count, all things that are really important. So let's, let's even go through the slow-mo here. So these guys are going to spawn in, so one, two, three, we'll do one more on the North Star, then we're going to switch to Scorch, put up their, our flame shield here. I might die actually, we'll see, no, there we go. Flame wall, then we want to get, now we have our flame core. Dude, that was actually a lot of kills, that was a really, really good flame core. There's a brute over here, I definitely want to deal with that. Here's a North Star, so the North Stars can be really annoying because they put down, um, they put down what's it called? Um, tether traps. So dealing with North Stars is really, really important. Deal with that guy. There's another, there's a brute over here. We'll put a flame trap down behind and ignite it. He's gonna dash into it, which is really good. So we shouldn't be having the second spawn of Titans now. So they should have spawned. So I'm actually gonna come over here to the right side, or I guess to the left side, because this is where Sarah's probably gonna be. Um, let's see. So what would I want to do here? Probably deal with this tone first. Use a flame trap, and he kind of ran out of it, so I use my flame wall. And he's melted. So we got pilot here with me, but you can see that Sarah's still beating up on this Ronin, so we'll probably just drop this guy here. Now he's probably gonna be dead, and then um, I would try ignoring this tone and then keep going. So we'll see. Actually, I kind of want to see what happens here with Sarah. We'll see if she keeps up. We'll see if she was going to keep up here. I'm actually curious. And it looks like she... It looks like she is... Uh, she is hanging back there. So, I guess in that case, the, the optimal thing to do probably would have been to kill the tone. But again, it's just all about kind of like managing whatever Sarah's doing. And working around... Uh, working around her. Because again, this is an escort mission, is so you have to get her up there. So, um, I guess other important things to cover for this opening section um, is just probably where the Titans are going to spawn. Um, the Titans uh, usually, I think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the Titans spawn based on where you're looking, but most of the time there's like three set spawn points that they're going to be in for the second wave. So they're normally going to drop uh, like they're normally going to drop like uh, right here and here. And then, and then they drop like in the same spot, kind of like directly behind those spawns too, kind of closer to the door. So I'll try and point out where they are once we get once we get to them. Might need to put down a flame trap there. Got the North Star, that's good. Gotta get this Ion, because he can be kind of dangerous if he decides to laser for us. So here, so yeah, so yeah, they're normally the spawns are right there in front of me. And then way across, so there's normally one that spawns kind of in the back left corner there. So right here we'll put a flame trap, flame shield. We have salvo, we have we have a flame core again. There's a lot of there's a good group right here with the titans, so it's probably worth it to use it here. You just have to try and build four up again before you get to the next section. So she said pilot you're with me, but I want four. I want my uh, sword core, or at least to get close to it. I don't think we can get it though here. So if you ever come here and you don't have uh, and you don't have your sword core. Um, it's best just to get this to 6-6 six, six Forge and do the, do the same thing you were doing before. Get the Brood. There we go, and Sarah's actually right up with us, so this would be, this would be pretty good. This, so, I think right here what I'd probably do is switch to Ronin. Another thing that's, that is worth it to talk about too is that, um, if you switch to Ronin, you can actually use Ronin a lot in this initial clear as well. You don't have to use, um, you don't have to use just Scorch. 
Um, it's totally it's totally okay to, to use Ronin through here too, because like Ronin has a lot of has like some really really high bursts, right? So if you wanted to, even like right here, if there's a Titan that's like far away from you or something. Like what I could do right here if I wanted to switch to Ronin, kind of like burst this guy down. No, he put up his uh, use a sword for here, which is normally good for a couple of kills. See what I mean? So I mean, sword core is fine too, and you know Ronin's gonna have more mobility, so you can get across the way too. Um, so you can see just the amount of damage that Ronin's able to put out too is really, really high. So Ronin is acceptable to use too. Um, but generally speaking, you're going to want to stick with Scorch and Ronin. You might find you're in a situation where there's a t like the last Titan you need to kill is way across the battlefield there. And uh, in that situation, I would advise maybe switching to Tone. And then in any case, uh, when you get here, and let's say again, um, normally you're going to want to have Sword Core here. And when you use Sword Core here, you, uh, you normally come up and you slice that guy once and then... And then uh, you slice the legion once, and then you finish them off with your gun. But if you don't have sword core here, the, what you want to do is uh, swap back to scorch, drop a couple of drop a flame crab, ignite it, uh, kill the brute. Uh, whoops, and then go and uh, finish off the legion here. Anyway, um, this is going. So let's uh I'll I'll show the I'll show this one more time with with uh with Scorch and we can get a look for what's going on. So it's all about managing where Sarah is, managing your cooldowns properly, and generally just aiming. Make sure you're aiming when you shoot. It's always really important, right? Okay, we do a flame core here. Looks like a decent flame core, but I left the Titans over there. Drop a. Flame crap there, kill both of these guys. There we go. There are now the Titans spawned over there. Get the tone. Yeah, aiming when you shoot is pretty important. You know, you'd be surprised how many people don't do it when you speedrun this game. This is probably I think this tone should be the last one that we need here. Yeah. Let's see where Sarah is. So Sarah's actually kind of behind this brute over here. It might be worth it just to take out one of these guys. And then in this case, you'd use Ronin. So you sword core over here. You swipe the brute once, come over here. You swipe the legion once, and then you just finish them off. When you come down here, um, there's going to be a reaper that spawns. So we want to go take care of the reaper first before we work on the scorch. Just because the reaper's movement can be a little bit weird. So I, I normally like to try and get a uh, an arc wave on him, but sometimes I can't. So whenever you see a Scorch for the first time and you get up close to them, they're going to flame shield you. In this case, what I do is uh, I just I melee him twice with Ronin. That usually chunks him for about a bar. I'm going to go one, two, three. I missed. I switched to Tone just because Tone has really good consistent DPS. Now we're going to come over here. All these grunts, Sarah will like literally like take her time attacking these grunts. So um, if you really are like behind and you don't want to waste your time with this, you can just skip on ahead, hope you get lucky. But most of the time with Tone, you can kill out most of these guys in like a few shots with just the splash damage. So once you get here, you're going to Sword Core again. Now here's the Scorch, he's going to put up his Flame Shield, he's going to slice him twice. Wait a brief moment after he puts up his flame shield because he can be still have some invulnerability from uh, from the dome shield. So it's normally good just to wait a brief moment. So you'll see yourself a little bit of sword core left, but I want to start building core again. And if I do another slash with sword core, it's not going to do anything. Um, so what I find is best to do here is do an empty slash, which eliminates your sword core. And uh, once you do that empty slash, you use a, an arc wave immediately. So an arc wave is going to do a big chunk of damage to both the North Star and the and the uh, and the scorch here, but you have to do it pretty fast, otherwise the scorch puts up his flame shield and they don't take any damage from it. Um, they just absorb it completely, so it's good to do it quickly. So once you get up to these guys with Ronan, uh, I just like I just I'm gonna do four shots, and then we're gonna switch back to Tone. Whoops! I usually like to do the North Star first because his movement's weird, and then uh, I think in this case Sarah might actually skip the scorch. Yeah, she won't. So we need to build core. But this is a good example of sometimes if you already have, if you had a core right here already for whatever reason, sometimes Sarah is really nice and she'll just ignore the last Titan there. Um, so 
In this situation, this would be good for us, but we, we need core for this next section, so I'd have to come back here to the Scorch and uh, get more core. There we go. And then we'd be good to go. So that's kind of like what you would do there. Um, I wonder where my checkpoint is here. But what do we got? Oh yeah, okay, this is pretty good. So we'll, we'll just run through this one more time. So slash this guy once. One. Oh. Okay, so this is another thing I, I should talk about. Um, you want to make sure that you're only slicing the legion once. If you end up just blowing your full load on him with sword core, <laughs> and then like you don't have any core left, you're not going to be able to build core on uh, on the scorch down here, which is unfortunate because you need sword core for the next part. So, um, if for whatever reason you don't, you haven't, man you haven't managed your core correctly, um, you're only going to get about, get about up to 75% right here. And you don't build any core up anything else except for Titan damage, unfortunately for you. So in the in the event that you don't have core here, um, again it's probably just best to stick to do the same thing. You're going to stick to Ronin, Ronin first, melee this guy. Now you want to save your core here because again you need core for the for the next part. So we go here and let's switch the tone, and then just eliminate these guys as fast as possible. Whoops. Now I'm out of ammo with tones, so instead of reloading, I'm going to switch to Scorch. I'm going to take care of North Star. Um, it looks like Sarah got caught up on something here. No, there she is. So Sarah's here. And then once you're here, you just keep on going to the elevator. Bye, Skinzilla. Um, so, yeah. Um, I guess final things to talk about right here before we head to the elevator um, would be with, with Titanfall, or with, sorry, with Titanfall, with, with uh, Trial by Fire. Uh, Norby, thank you for the follow. The main things you're going to want to do are manage your cooldowns, manage your ammo count. Um, the less time that you spend like waiting to reload, the better. So sometimes, for example, like it, let's say like you go all in with Scorch or something, and you're completely out of cooldowns. So you go like boom, boom, boom. Uh, oh no, I'm out of ammo and stuff. Um, it's sometimes just best just to swap down to Ronin, and then you can do this. You get it, like that's like a ton of burst damage. They can swap back to Scorch and like, uh, you know, you might have to set your flame shields back up. Yeah, yeah. So just like managing and like swapping between them as you go is really really good. Another thing to work on if you're not good at it is uh, just general menuing. Keep in mind like how far down each Titan is on this list here. So like if you know you're on Tone and you want to get to Scorch, you could just do for example, my keybind to bring up the loadout menu is four, so I could do four tap space gets me to Scorch. Or if I'm like at Scorch and I want to get to Ronin, well, I know Ronin is, is two down, so I go, um, or three down rather, so I go one, one, two, three, whoops, I go one, two, three, and then Ronin. Or if I want to get back to Tone, I can, I know that it's up, or down two, so I go one, two, back to Tone. So just like kind of knowing where each Titan is on the menu is really, really good. If you are using Tone here a lot, you're going to want to get good at swap reloading. Uh, there's a whole video on that that, uh, I, I talk about this briefly in my, uh, and my Blood and Rust tutorial, but if you don't know what swap reloading is, swap reloading is when you uh, swap to another Titan loadout and then swap back to the one you were using. And th what this is actually going to do is it reloads your Titan ammo completely. Hey Frothy, what's up dude? Meme man, meme. Um, so for example, like I have 9 left with Scorch, or let's say I'm down to like 5 on Scorch or something that I go... Whoops, that's... I'm using my... I'm using the wrong input here, so I go uh, 4 down space, 4 up space. So it's pretty, it's like a pretty nifty tool for reloading quickly. And I'm kind of messing it up. I normally do this on uh, Blood and Rust, which is just four tap space, four tap space for me, but, four, but tap takes you down. So it doesn't work like that. I gotta use the arrow keys here. Uh, don't use your mouse for it. This is actually slower to do it this way. You, it's like, it's the best way to do this is just to do, be like four down space, four up space. Anyway, so that's swap reloading. So once we get up to the elevator, um, the level gets a lot simpler, though there are still a few things to go over. So, you're gonna swap down to Brute, and once we get about, like, right here-ish, um, we're actually gonna be, we're gonna be flying. So, um, there's a couple things to note about this. Sometimes the game will, there's like a weird bug where if you use fly as the elevator's moving up, you won't actually gain any height. And so the best way to avoid this, I find, is just going to be to do a dash right before you use flight. Um, 
I normally time my flight by the number of rings left, like on the elevator here. So I'm gonna do it like about like right here. Right here is when I'm gonna fly, when I'm at like about the third ring from the top. So um, I'd come in here, dash fly, and then like hold crouch to make sure you get up as soon as possible. Immediately switch to Ronin, and then from here we do sword core and continue on. So um, th this is really pretty simple. Just you know, once we get to about about the third ring here. Right there, dash fly, hold crouch, so we'll get you up there, swap to swap to Ronin, and then immediately use sword core. So once you use sword core, we're just gonna be we're gonna be cheesing it with a dash. Um, this is a little forklift you can actually run over. You have to watch out for these guys here because sometimes they will get in your way. You're gonna have to just kind of like maneuver your way around them. Once you get right here, do a dash and a phase dash to get through all the groups all the group here. And then we get over to this next section. Which is, uh, this is where things are like a little bit complicated. So I'll do this one more time and then we'll talk about, uh, then we'll talk about getting core back as fast as possible with well, these guys. So, I think I might have done it a bit early. No, that was fine. Whoops, there we go. Sword core. Go over the forklift. Looks like we have pretty decent spawns with our allies here, so I'm gonna actually switch to slow-mo here. So we can talk about this next section. So once you get here, you just dash, phase dash, that gets you through all the nasty dudes here. Got a little bit unlucky with that ion dash. We can, you can just kind of cut that corner. Then once you get here, um, if I have, if you have any sword core left, I normally do that swipe I was talking about to eliminate sword core. And what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna use an arc wave, and I'm gonna line it up with these two titans right in front of me. Um, so I'm going to have the arc wave hit the tone and then hit the north star behind him. So it would be like a bit like this. Or about like that. I'm going to try and I'm going to shoot the tone four times and try and get crits because you get more core if you get crits. So you shoot the tone four times, dash forward toward this guy. Um, and then I want to hit this north star as well. So we go one, two, and now we have core again. Just like that. Just like that you have core all ready to go. And once you have core again, um, it's, a, it's an immediate sword core. Uh, once again, so you do sword core, and I usually do a phase dash here to get around these two reapers in the tone. You can hug the corner really, really, really tight. Um, so timing your dash as you come around is really good. You can actually just run straight through that gap, and again, hug the corner as you come around here. You kind of have to avoid the way these reapers are moving, but if you kind of just stick to the wall, you can normally kind of read which way they're going. Sometimes they just dash straight your way like that. It's pretty nice. And then um, once you come down here, you kind of have to play around what this North Star is doing. Um, you can move in a couple different ways, but most of the time I'm just going to be dashing, phase dash, dash. Usually gets me through him. Move to stick to the right uh, next to the uh, the truck there, and that should prevent you from getting caught up on the uh, on that Titan if he spawns there. Um, everything else here is pretty straightforward. Um, you can sometimes get a lucky damage boost right here, like that, so that's pretty rare. Uh, once you get right here, you should have your phase dash back up. If you use your phase dash, there's a cutscene that starts right when you hit the this little ledge in front of us here. Um, there's a cutscene that starts there. If you use your phase dash like right here, it'll come up. It'll come back up automatically when the cutscene ends. If you use it before, then you normally won't have the phase dash back up. So, um, I'll run through here one more time, and uh, that should be about everything for the last part. So we get brute. Gonna wait till about the third ring. Dash fly. Hold crouch. Swap to Ronin. Immediate sword crouch. Gonna cut the corner a little tight because we can go right over the uh, that forklift. These guys are in our way, so we're gonna have to try and find our way around them, which we did. Face after these dudes. Cut this corner. There we go. Arc wave both of those guys. There we go. Sword core. Got the inside. There we go. So this is a pretty good example of what this is supposed to look like. Base dash to get through there. This is like a pretty good escape. Not escape, but uh, whatever you want to call this final run for this level. Dash here. Face dash into the cutscene start. There you go. So once this, after this cutscene plays out, um, the final movement is really simple. Dash, phase dash. 
dash on the ground. And, um, that's trial by fire. That's trial by fire in a nutshell, so to speak. Um, yeah, don't get discouraged with this level. Um, this is definitely, being that it comes so late in the run, getting messed up by Sarah can be really, really frustrating. Um, but ideally, if you're managing her positioning well, kind of keeping an eye on her, managing her cooldown, swap reloading, you should be able to deal with it fairly consistently. Um, just uh, th this level is all about keeping a cool head, checking your surroundings, understanding what's going on, keeping an eye on Sarah, babysitting her all the way to the elevator. And then once you're at the elevator, you just peace. So um, yeah, good luck with this level. It's definitely one of the weirder ones for the speed run. Uh, completely, completely Titan based, no pilot movement. Um, I'll catch you guys in my uh, video for the arc and uh, peace.